Well, hey there. Good morning, guys. I uh, bet you can guess what uh, type of video this is going to be, eh? We got that one request that came in to do another uh, painting with Canada video. It took a few months, but we finally got one, eh? So thought I'd throw on the camo there and uh, the hat, the colorful hat, and away we'd go. You know, I like and appreciate the camo, eh? But the kids, uh, they're always giving me flack, eh? Saying I'm out of touch. Well, you know, I told them camo is appropriate in certain circumstances. You know, if you're, uh, it's bow season or you're fixing the four-wheeler in the yard or working on anything in the garage for that matter, eh? You know, maybe if somebody calls and you got to go to the mall and pick them up, you might wear a bit of camo or uh, just going over to visit the neighbors for a beer, maybe. Uh, you know, weddings, funerals, uh, social gatherings. Uh, you know, it's pretty much appropriate for anything, eh? So uh, I think the kids are just plain out wrong. Camo works. We're kind of in between uh, COVID waves here, and uh, I've been spending a lot of time, eh, catching up with the family because we haven't seen them a lot in the last two years, eh? So we've been going to the cottage a lot. It's beautiful, cold, crisp fall here. And uh, I just thought maybe we'd do a painting uh, that represents the family, eh, and how close we are, the whole family dynamic. And uh, that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to do the Wi Fi kids and the mother and father in law and Gage. Speaking of fashion and fixing stuff, eh, I'm cutting through the laundry room the other day and I see this pile of rags on the counter. I thought my wife had cut up some old jeans for me to work on the four-wheeler and I go to pick them up and take them with me and I realize there's a tag on there, brand new tag, eh, like you bought it at the store, hadn't even pulled the tag off. I'm looking, $65. I fold it out, it's a pair of jeans, eh. There's more holes than material in this jeans, okay, like there's nothing left, it's just a few strings and I couldn't figure out what the hell's going on here, $65. Called my daughter in there. I said, what's going on? Are these are yours? You're returning them? You ripped them? What happened? She says, no, I bought them like that, but they don't fit right. Hey, they're too loose. And I was thinking, holy geez, $65. I can get a full set of jeans for $20, wear them for five years, and then they look like that. So I'm in fashion the whole time, eh? But the kids don't get it. They just don't agree. Hey, knock it off, eh, Tom? It's just me. I'm up here. I'm painting. Just get back on your own property, eh? Interrupting my video. Sorry about that guys, it's hunting season up here, eh, and Tom saw the camo moving and thought there was deer up here or something. He was just about to take a shot, I think, so I had to chase him back over to his place. We got the orange on now, so we should be okay. You know you've lost all street cred with the kids, eh, when they start grouping you and Grandpa in the same category. Old. Well, I told the kids, eh, I said, I'm not old. I said, Grandpa's old. They looked at each other and snickered and said, well, if Grandpa's old, what's Great Grandma? I blurted out the first answer that came to mind, and the wife at the same time shot out an answer. I said ancient. The wife said a blessing. Well, and I thought, gee, that's a pretty good answer. I wish I'd come up with that. So, not to be left behind, I put the two together, and I looked at the kids, and I just said she's an ancient blessing, eh? Just like a fart in the wind. You gotta love her while you can, because she could be gone like that. Just don't breathe deep. You know, great grandma, you gotta love her. She's definitely lost a step, eh? No. The body, I think she got some Sherpa genetics in there because she can up and down the stairs, she's rolling around on the ground with the dog and the kids playing 80 whatever and the body is still there. She worked on the farm her whole life, she's still got it. The mind, on the other hand, not so much. Eh, she got, uh, she got the memory of an elephant on one hand. She can tell you who lived over that hill in the farmhouse there in 1942. She can name all the kids, she can name all the kids pets. She can tell you what your great-grandfather Jack bought the tractor and what make and model it was and all the problems he had with it. But the short term just isn't there. We go pick Graham up and we're going to take her out to the cottage. Along the way I decide, hey, the truck needs a car wash. We go through the car wash. Grandma loves the car wash, eh? All the pretty colors and the soap and the bubbles and the giggling. We go take her for ice cream. We get out at the cottage. 23 minutes has passed. She gets out of the truck, turns around and says, boy, your truck's nice and clean. When did you do that? And I'm thinking, 22 minutes ago, Grandma, you were there. But you gotta love her, eh? You just, the short term is not there. She'll ask you the same thing eight times, and all you can do is just answer eight times. So I like to trick her a little bit. I answer different every time, eh? But the wife doesn't like that, but Grandma doesn't seem to mind. Oh, Grandma, always generous too, eh? She always used to, when you'd pick her up and take her for lunch, she'd always pay for lunch, and she'd give you $20 for gas. Well, back in 96, eh, that 20 bucks went a long ways. Not so much now. But nature has a way of making these things work out, eh? So now she gives you 20 bucks when she gets in the car. 
You go for lunch, she buys lunch, and when you drop her off at home, she forgot she already gave you 20 bucks on the way there, she gives you another 20. So, in the end, it all works out, eh? Did I mention today we're using markers, eh? It's just a little faster, and it's so cold out here. The paints were actually freezing. COVID has taught me, you know, to love your family, and how much you're going to miss your family when you can't see them. Unless it's your spouse. Then you can just get annoyed, eh? You get out to the cottage and we got the dog. And the wife says to me, did you bring food for the dog? Well, she knows I didn't bring any food for the dog because she brought food for the dog, eh? I don't get any credit because I knew that she was going to bring the food for the dog. I just get told you didn't bring the food for the dog, eh? So, I made the mistake of asking her, well, why did you ask me if I brought food for the dog if you knew I didn't bring food for the dog? And then the father-in-law pipes in, eh? And he says, that's a... Uh, that's a spouse thing, that's a wife thing, eh? And uh, I was kind of glad for that because then the mother-in-law and the wife both jumped on him and I just snuck away and went and had a nap, eh? So, so you learn a lot from this COVID is what I'm getting at, eh? You kind of learn to, if you're you're agile like this ninja right here, eh? You kind of weave the family dynamic, eh? Let grandpa take the fall if you can, that's the rule. So grandpa calls me yesterday and he says, uh, I got a tip for you. He says, there's a gas war up on in Sturgeon there. He says, along the way, gas here in town is $1.44 a liter. Can you believe that? I, oh, I don't like paying that, eh? especially when you're driving a truck. He says to me, you got to go up to Sturgeon. He says, uh, gas is on for $1.20 a liter. And at first I thought, gee, I'm not doing anything grandpa tells me, eh? because then I'm kind of admitting I'm becoming grandpa. But uh, by 3 o'clock in the afternoon, just after I finished my nap there, I decided I had nothing else to do better than just go for a drive. And that's how I justified it. Eh? I thought, well, I'm going to go for a drive. And if I happen to go past that gas station, which is 40 kilometers out of my way, and I save uh, 20 cents a liter, eh? well, that's what happened. So I guess I am becoming grandpa, slowly. Don't tell him that. Eh? I don't think he watches these videos, so we're okay. Great grandma, she'll watch and she'll forget, so she won't be able to tell him. So it's all good, I think. So, uh, one of these characters here, hey, I might uh, use a little different figure. You guys that uh, may or may not be the mother-in-law, you guys can decipher that. I'm not saying what's what, eh? Uh, when I show you the picture, you, you might notice a difference in one of them. I think that's my problem, eh? Is, uh, Gage and I, we're the only men in the family, surrounded by women 24-7, eh? Drive a guy crazy if he's not out hunting, four-wheeling, fixing something, breaking something. Uh, not necessarily in that order, eh? I don't know, it's just too much estrogen around here, I think, eh? Everybody nowadays telling you you're not supposed to shoot stuff and you're not supposed to collect your own food and grow your own food. You just go to the grocery store for that, eh? It's nonsense. So I bought my daughter one of them electronic drum sets, eh? One of the ones, just a pad and you bang away on it and it, uh, it sounds pretty good. Put it on the desk, it doesn't take up a lot of room, eh? But, uh, I did that in order to show that I'm still in touch, eh, and I know what's cool and what's not cool, and so... But the secret there, eh, for all you parents, is you get the one you can plug the, the earphones into, right? So you don't have to listen to the bang, and then the ta-tang, ta-tang, bang, boom, crash, and all that, eh? You just do that in the room, and then you get them every... The other end of that is every week, eh, you gotta go in for just a ten-minute session, and you tell them they're doing good, eh? Thumbs up. Good job, kid. I don't know what song you're playing there. Was that Wipeout, or, uh, something you made up, but, uh, sounded pretty good. That's if you can, a little white lie here and there, eh? They say, uh, they say honesty is the best rule, but I found with kids and music, eh, it's not. Don't listen to that, eh? Well, there you go. Look at that, eh? The whole fam jamly. Me, the wife, the kids, the mother and father-in-law. They even got Gage in there in the bottom. And all the beautiful fall colors in behind. That one's going up on the wall. So that one won't be available on, on the eBay, guys. Sorry about that, eh? But... You know, I guess what I'm saying is you gotta you gotta love and appreciate your family and show them, eh? All the time, right? Every family's got its ups, its downs, its in and out dynamic, and uh, you know you just have to show love and appreciation as much as you can, eh? Even if uh, even if they don't remember it. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in, eh? I've uh, I've told you about as much as I can uh, about the family without uh, being ostracized. And, uh, you know, I've passed on as much family knowledge as I can, eh? It's a pretty knowledgeable guy on some things, and, uh, you know, uh, other things, it's kind of a 50-50. You roll the dice, you either listen to Gary or you figure it out on your own. Either way, you're probably going to get hit in the head by the wife. But uh, you'll learn. That's the important thing, eh? If you're smart, you'll learn. 
And this guy's always learning. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you in the next painting with Canada. Oh, that wasn't supposed to be part of the video, eh? Bob Ross would call that a happy accident, eh? But I'm right now I'm not too happy. Oh boy, who's got time to pick all that up, eh? Not this guy. Carry on, keep filming. Oh, really? You know, COVID has taught me one thing, and that's uh drop my cap. Uh, Grandma fart joke, take six. Now that I've picked the markers up. You know, you've lost all street kid. Uh, take seven. I told the kids, well, she's an ancient blessing, eh? Just like a fart in the wind. You gotta love her while she... I fucked that up again. Oh, I've screwed that up so many times. Still didn't get it right, but that's that's the take we're going with. Big and Tom interrupt my videos again. I thought it was a deer going through there, but it's just Tom looking for his chainsaw. You guys aren't going to believe this, eh? I'm up here filming. There's Tom down there looking for his chainsaw. How'd you lose that? That's what happens when you don't finish the job, eh? <laughs> a wet ass and a cold coffee. That's what Gary gets for doing these videos. <laughs>